He just ult the blue buff. Thanks for the buff. And you're dead again. Really good player we have here, huh? Oh, I have him stuck in the corner! He's stuck in the corner! <laughs> oh, sadly, this isn't my first blue buff invade, man. Sadly, you can't be cringe there, huh? What a shame. You have to play the game now. How is it going? Boys and girls, Darp Guy here, and welcome back to another ranked 1v1 duel video. And today, we are hard slamming a Kuzumbo game to continue the A to Z series. Now, Kuzumbo is one of my favorite gods in the game, and before the 9.5 revert, he was like semi viable. He was like a top 3 guardian, which is still like a C tier character. Now, Kuzumbo is like a C tier character. By that I mean he went up like two spots. Because with this health revert, he can he pumps numbies. Okay, one thing about Kuzumbo that we all know is that he pumps absolute damage. And so you go like Bancrofts, Typhons, Polly, and you just run at them. And with your ult, your ult can hit for like with like a full build, six items, your ult can hit for like 720. And that's if they beads it. <laughs> and um, it also interrupts stuff. It makes you CC immune. He just he has a small niche place in duel, especially against melee characters like this boy. This is an awful Thanatos matchup. Um, if if he uses his scythe and I pop my two, I return a lot of the damage, and that's all of his damage. And I'm a tanky boy. Thanatos does not like tanky boys. And I can, for him to really do much, he has to be by me. And I, if I'm not in execute range and he uses his ult to initiate, I just ult it and I win. <laughs> I think Kuzumbo just kind of wins this matchup in most regards. We're going to do the Mystical Male start strat. I like this strat a lot. Mm, like, I'm going to go mid. I was thinking about Thorns, but... Just being able to chain combo him with cooldown med after I get my Typhons seems incredible. He really needs to kill me early on multiple times to have a chance at this game. And I mean, Thanatos can win it. Like, I'm not gonna... You never count to Thanatos out. He has a lot of outplay potential. But he's gonna have to snowball. Or I'm gonna have to make some big mistakes. And going mystical makes me really tanky. And I'm just gonna be able to do so much. And he's not gonna be able to do much at all. Oh yeah, tier mystical, tier two mystical now also has a passive, and it's like a mini mystical. It's like, how do I explain it? Mystical gives that aura damage, and now T two mystical does it as well, just a lesser amount. Triple bounce. You are fucking cringe. He sat around the corner and waited for me to use my abilities. Alright, spam lap type of game it is. I hate the dog shit players like this. All of them are so bad, too. Oh, uh, you. You fucked up. You'll be getting spam lap this entire game. I hope that invade was worth it. Get the minis here. Trying to get him to use his scythe. I have mystical, so I don't even. Okay, there we go. Free blue buff. Very good player, as you can tell. Totally not a bottom of the barrel player, just trying to be the most cringe thing possible. I almost fucked that up. Oh, and you're dead. Your first. Oh, nice scythe. That wasn't even on my screen. Your cringe little blue buff invade did absolutely nothing to help you. It's crazy. This is a bad matchup for him, but... Doesn't mean bad matchup and a bad player does not mean I'm gonna take it easy. If you invade a first blue buff, you're a fucking loser. It's as simple as that. Invading the first blue buff's not an issue. If you wanna walk over before the buff spawn, or like, walk over when they spawn and just show yourself and try to invade it, you know, make sure you're like, hey, I'm not letting you get that. That's a different thing. Trying to be a cringe little rat and sitting around the corner to um, wait for them to use their abilities. Now that is something that is going to get you spam left by a lot of people.
low again. I'm not genuinely upset about it, but like, if you do invade first blue buff the way this guy did, you will be getting spam left non-stop, so... Just know what you're doing when you do it. I do love me some Kuzumbo, though. And you're dead. Really good player you are, aren't you? Huh. Really good player. Good blue buff invade, man. Nonetheless, though, if you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to let me know by subscribing. It really would mean the world to me. I want to hit 1k by the end of the year, which is looking very, very likely. Um, I'm going to go Breastplate next. My base get damage is very good, and he's not going to be able to kill me. And my Mystical does so much. Mystical is such a strong item. Early game. Now, late game it is too. I've had multiple games where my Mystical does like 600 damage. Mystical is just a good item. Not a lot of gods. You're trying to hold waves too. Nice scythe. Oh, little man. I thought he was about to die to that. I'm gonna push this entire wave under it fast. It's gonna be hard for me to take tower, because Mystical is gonna put me into combat, but... It'll just be taken with time. I'm fine with this game going later, too. I win this game late game. Kuzumbo just kind of beats Thanatos. Especially if the Thanatos player is bad. Oh, good job, man. Now what? Oh, you got a whole wave there. Good luck. Jinx chooses the worst possible times to go in this litter box, I swear to god. 300 gold off of my breastplate. Did he just ult the blue buff? Thanks for the buff. And you're dead again. Really good player we have here, huh? Oh, I have him stuck in the corner! He's stuck in the corner! <laughs> oh, sadly, this isn't my first blue buff invade, man. Sadly, you can't be cringe there, huh? What a shame. You have to play the game now. I'd bet money this guy's a Poseidon player. I'd bet money. It's always funny watching all the like the Poseidon and Bakasura mains play non-Poseidon or Bakasura. So then they just have absolutely no idea how to click the buttons with their thumbs. Well, I guess this guy could be PC. Crossplay is a thing. You're not getting a single buff this entire game. Mystical's putting in work. My scepter's gonna be a lot of more passive damage. I want this new rock. He's three levels down. Against a Kuzumbo. Bro, I'm not missing my name either, but to be fair, I don't think this guy knows what juking is. Well, that was a really smart play, wasn't it? You really thought that one out, didn't you? It is funny. Watching the cringe players have to actually play the game. Kuzumbo's fun, though. Who doesn't enjoy a good Kuzumbo game? Even a bad Kuzumbo game is still semi-enjoyable. Like playing Kuzumbo and Akali, or... Kuzumbo kinda... Kinda has a chance to beat Kali, though. Kuzumbo's good in the melees. Kuzumbo into like... Vamana. Kuzumbo into Vulcan. Kuzumbo into... He has a lot of really rough matchups. But to be fair, he probably is... I'd say he's probably the best Guardian in Duel. Carrion's pretty good. Kabrakin's kind of solid. Kuzumbo's probably the best though. In my humble abode opinion. Oh my god, this Kuzumbo is spam laughing me and being cringe after I was cringe to him. How dare he? I thought he was gonna juke. I need to remember this guy doesn't juke. 
He doesn't know juking's a thing. But my two, that's satisfying to hit him with his own two. Or hit him with my two for his own one. That Thanatos one, you're dead again. I'm guessing that's gonna be a surrender. No? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'll go into a game two, hopefully against an actual player this time. Thank you so much for watching. Alright, Darbles and Darbets, welcome back to another round two. Oh, God. Oh god, how do I kill her minions? Oh, this is gonna be painful. How do I kill her minions? She's just- she just throws minions at me the whole game and I can't- Cause it's gonna cancel my three. My two's not gonna get much value from that. I'm gonna have to blink. Bait her all down. Alt when she comes back down. Beads. Her stun. How do I possibly get a kill here? Oh god, she's a magical. I can't even go mystical, man. Oh, this is this is not going to be a fun game. Oh, this is going to be a real fun game. <laughs> Dude, hold my nene. Hold my nene. Hold my nene. Watch how it's done. Hold my nene. I'm starting with Genji's. We'll go Genji's. And after that, I don't know. You know? I don't know what I'm gonna do here. New one minions, kinda cringe. New one minions, kinda cringe. But, I won't lie, playing with new one duel is fun. New one in, um, a non awful matchup is a fun god to play in duel. Playing new one into like Bakasura or new one into Neath, or, or not Neath, I mean, new one into, um, Kali. Nua into Scotty. Nua has some really bad matchups with Kronos, Hades, Poseidon. But when you're against none of those, Nua's a fun god to play. No matter if she is unfun to play against, but why would this person care if I'm not having fun with how he's playing? He was holding minions to try to get them on me, but he missed. They last so long, man. Oh, okay. He wasted. Thorns? How is he level 5 and I'm not? I'm gonna die, man! Actual minions! His minions did 400, and the real minions did 300. It's gonna be all minions this game. It's gonna be a fun game, I can tell. Oh boy, am I gonna enjoy this game. Now that it's started, make sure you're hydrated. Your middle tower Oh boy, am I gonna uh, <laughs> Oh boy, am I gonna enjoy this game? Well, how did she die? Ah, oh, she's going warlocks too, man! She's gonna be so healthy! Oh, this is not going to be an enjoyable game for the Kuzin, bro. She killed herself on tower. What did she do? Okay. Meteor should put in numbers against her minions, but realistically, I'm never going to be killing her minions. I'm going to be going for her, which is gonna be a lot easier said than done because she can cancel my three and alt my alt. And my two's not amazing against her. Yeah, we kinda absolutely rolled her there. 
Let's back in the minions, get her all down, give me the ult. Oh my god, we are Kuzan growing all over her. Oh, we are Kuzan growing all over her. She stood no chance. We played that very well. That's how we want to do like every engagement, but unfortunately we don't have the cooldowns to do that every engagement. Um Divine's kinda solid here. I kinda wanna go into a warlocks of my own. Help against the 800 damage minions are gonna be doing every fight. It's like Arachne. Arachne and Nuwa is just like not even about the character, just about their minions. Like the people feel about the way people feel about Argus, but like actually. Because when people are like, ah, oh, Argus did everything, it's like Argus did 800 damage, even though every single mage ult does 800 damage. It's literally that with Nuwa and uh, Arachne, though, because it's literally all the minions until late game where Arachne actually becomes an issue. Late game Arachne, not even late game, just like four items Arachne just kind of one shots people. I think she keeps walking behind the wave and eating my name is. Like that, like I just did to her, that's what she did to me. I was thankful when she did it, so I thought I'd return the favor. This is the battle of fights, Nene's versus Clay Minions. <laughs> nope, 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 no thanks. Serious wave, get our warlocks. These minis might be up, but it's kind of worth to start stacking this warlocks immediately. Um, we can go Bancroft's Typhons, maybe. We are 3 to gold up because he killed himself to my tower and then I've been pressuring him out. I like how he got first blood, which means nothing in duel, but he, he killed me first and then he just gave me a kill. He was like, hey man, I know this is going to be an annoying matchup for you, but here you go. She's going to miss these minions, by the way. What the hell? How did she snake her way past me? That did very little damage. Not only did that only do 138 damage, but that's also going to... That's also going to... Um, she's gonna have more HP. I should not have ulted that. She's gonna have more HP thanks to her Warlocks. So my 130 damage Nene's are gonna do very, very little here. Get off of that. Return some damage with my 2. Get off of that. Hold my nene. We both have chalices taking and we both have the exact same build. Hold my nene. I'm trading better because of my two, but if he doesn't detonate all the minions, that's good for him, bad for me. Hold my nene. I miss. That was my first nene miss. Fuck him up. Get off of that. My ult is coming back up. Thank god he's detonating into my two. I don't know if it's worth the level of the two over the three. Kind of thought the three would be better for his minions. Get off of that! Meow! Get the tower. Ah, oh, damn it, Nene. Okay, um. Frank Cross should be solid here for sustain and power, and Typhon's gonna be our pet. This has been a very strange match. I don't think this guy's played up against that many Kuzumbos. I'm gonna level my 3 for the minion's sake, like killing the minions. Cause that's really all this game is, is my Nene versus his clay minions. The battle of the minions.
Uh oh. I am gonna need a cooldown. Luckily, he has just as little as I do. Guess he walked into it. I reflect that. I don't think that's worth reflecting. Oh my god, he's terrified. The yeah, immediate ult. And he came back down immediately. Yeah, he's not leaving this tower. This is an AFK mage if I've ever seen one. Get him, Nene. Yeah, he is not going to play the game anytime soon. His plan is to AFK under this tower for 48 minutes. Yeah, we'll get this red, we'll back get our Bancrofts. No, when is Morgan Le Fay gonna be back in duel? Because I'm gonna have to do her soon. Because she's she's coming up soon in the apps, and she's still disabled in duel. Maybe in the entire game. I don't know if she's available in casual, but you can't play her in, in ranked in Conquest or Duel or Joust. She went Soulja. She's going Divide. She's literally just going all in on the minions. L minions. Linions, even. Yeah. Thank you. Your middle tower is under I did pop all my chalices. Calculated. How do I get his phoenix? I, do, I really don't know. I really have no idea how I ever get his phoenix. I need a poly, I think, but I kind of want to go into a book of thought or maybe a tablet. I like tablet, especially on Kuzumbo, because even if you miss the one, the minions will find the god, run him down and get a stack. It's even better on New Wad. I, I played a game of it a little bit ago. Did not go that well. <laughs> it does not. It's easier to stack, but it doesn't feel good. Maybe it's because I didn't build that much mana. My tablet was only hitting for like 60 damage. Yeah, that should be his wave clear. Come on, minions. Get him, Nene. He's not going to be leaving his phoenix anytime soon. Yeah, the second I walk at him, he's back under that phoenix. That's where half of duel is just AFK mages, unironically. So people either play Kali, Buckus, or Poseidon, or lock an AFK mage. No mid ground. Using my two to stack my book. For beads. He left his tower. I missed my Nene. Oh my god, it bounced back and killed him. Yeah, his plan was just gonna be to run back to tower and try to get me to chase him, and I just did not. And he didn't know what to do, so we panic called the average AFK mage player. Do I want to go tablet or do I want to go book? Mm, I'm going to go tablet. It's more fun that way. And I need to make some sort of fun. Because I'm against a new wa who's spamming minions. She's not full cooldown. She actually only has 20%. I don't know what her plan is. She's trying to message me. I'm on Xbox. I cannot chat. Why did I not get a stack? He missed his minions.
Yep, he's just running away until I look away, then he wants to fight. This is entire guy's game plan. Oh my god, that root sucks. Imagine how good Mystical would be here, man. I wish you were a physical. Woo! Outplayed by the Kuzin bow. These minions are so damn tanky. Luckily, I don't know what he's doing. He decided that he didn't want to be an AFK mage for like 10 seconds and left and did that. <laughs> I, I can't get this. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Who am I trying to trick? I need pen. But at the same time, kind of don't. I want a book of thoughts and I want to start stacking it. I want this cooldown man, but I can't get that yet. Go mirrored it now, 30% cooldown. That's not good for me. I only have 10% and I'm Kuzumbo. That's been <laughs> when you play Kuzumbo, make sure to build cooldown. It's very, very important. Why is my two not proccing tablet? I almost get my book of thoughts. God, Jinx. You just knocked my phone off. Why are you guys always taking stuff off my desk? Now, defense is the right play, but if I'm gonna stack <laughs> with... If I'm gonna stack, I need to get these items online fast, because if you go tablet, you should go tablet first. Like, at all times, if you ever plan on building that item. So, I needed to rush that, and I'm gonna be stacking, and this game's probably not gonna go on for 30 more minutes, so I need to stack soon. Why does I not proc tablet? That doesn't proc tablet either. That is all. I'm fine with just leaving. Wasted his ult and his beads. And he landed like literally nothing. Literally. Jesus, man! I should have used my beads. I was holding them for next game. It was an awful fight. He wasted all and then wasted beads and then still decided to run me down. I don't know. It's like, it's like he knows he's an AFK mage player because he probably only plays AFK mages, but he's like trying to. He's a trying to adapt, and I respect it. You know, he's leaving his tower, and now he's being confronted with the with the need to actually play the game, and he's like, wait a minute. What do I do when he clicks buttons and I'm not under a phoenix? What? What do I do about that? That's not fair. I'll be on my way. Hold my nay nay. Gabba gabba gabba. Give me a stack. Darn. Darn to him. Yeah, now we have pen. <laughs> now, now our damage should be a bit better. Typhons and Bankrupt, or at least Bankrupt, I'm not sure about Titans. Both give mana, so they do kind of work well with Tablet. It's probably more optimal build than whatever this shit show on the left is I have, but I like this build. Okay, I'm a fan of whatever this is. Whatever's going on here, I like it. Back to the Phoenix, he goes. He's learned his lesson. He's like, I'm trying to act like somebody I'm not. An actual dueler. I need to stop using all of my chalices so quickly. That's one of my... more bad... habits. Okay, so they removed the fact that the Nene no longer stacks tablet without it directing, but left it in for new wand minions. How does that make sense?
Here's the ult. Here we see an AFK mage in their natural habitat under an objective. Oh my god, that was a lot of healing. <laughs> that was like 300 yields of one ability. Kuzumbo is Hades? 3 a.m. Uh, Pridlin's kind of solid here. Maybe I sell Typhons for Pridlin. Okay, listen, because my build's not about pen. It's not about how much pen you got, it's how, it's how you use it. He's going to do more. This tablet is not getting stacked very effectively. Because I removed it off the two and the one missing it, man. What am I meant to do? It's not fair. That's cheating. I'm fine with holding you here because minions are going to take her phoenix. She's going to have to make a play. Minions are going to take her phoenix or she's going to... Have to make a play on me or leave and give up building him. Okay. Minions are gonna take her Phoenix and she's really in a bad spot. Pop the cooldown med. It's her beads. Pre ult the stun. My push didn't do damage in the wall! That's so dumb! She died to my push! I killed her with the three, I pushed her into the wall and it didn't do damage, man! Why does Smite hate me? What is that? That's some bullshit. That's what I call that. That is some bullshit. He died, and I died off him dying. What kind of logic is that? Why do I die from him dead? I, I'm dead because he died. How does this guy have a master's border? <laughs> That's the real question. I guess I am like 2k MMR right now because of this A to Z series and he's somehow beneath me. Which means he's very very low MMR so he probably just plays against pretty bad players. I do hate that you can get a master's border whilst being in gold, platinum, and diamond you know. If you're in a rank, that should be the highest god border you can have on that god, you know. If you're 15 0 in gold ranks, you, you should still have a gold border because you're not the best god. You're just the best gold player of that god right now. I'm just gonna end. <laughs> I'm kinda bored. He's just kinda sitting under objectives. I do hope you enjoyed. Kuzumbo's awesome. We love Kuzumbo. Nonetheless. Have an amazing rest of your nights. Peace.